Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. I'm your host Rob. This video, we are going to do our very first Let's Play. Yes, it's about that time. So this game here is StarCraft. Uh, this is the Heart of the Swarm uh, expansion. Oh, a little laggy there. Uh, probably forgot to turn off my antivirus. Sorry about that. Um, but anyway, this is StarCraft. I'm just using this game as a test run to basically get you guys uh, reaction. Definitely get your criticism and your critique. Um, because before I start doing this full-fledged, which will be very soon, uh, hopefully either the end of this week or early next week, um, we'll start to upload gameplay videos of uh, specifically I'm looking at starting to do the walking dead now here in this game right now I have my pro building three pylons and I'm gonna start setting down some cannons because the way I've set this game up <clears throat> is that I'm facing off against four computer opponents now I do have the settings on very easy I just wanted this to be a test run I don't want it to be anything too crazy I want it to be a quick battle um, but since I haven't played in a long time, I, I forgot how to set up the game to do one versus one. So I just went into an uh, open game, uh, me versus four computers, set them all on easy, and basically just launched it. Uh, so anyway, so right here, uh, I'm building two, um, what I like to call forge. I think that's what, no, they're not the forge, excuse me. Uh, Terran would call them a refinery, but anyway, just to get some fuel, I have my probe setting down uh, cannons now because... Even though I have it set on very easy, if they decide to attack in a group, then I'm pretty much in trouble. So, once again, we have some lag here, and I do apologize. That's actually my antivirus, which is a very strong antivirus, and what happens is uh, it's constantly on, and I used to have a problem uploading videos because of that. I just forgot to turn it off. So, I have my cannon set, and I'm going to start building more pylons. I have the forge down there along with a gateway. This allows me to directly go right into building an air force. Because, like, again, I'm, I'm playing for computers. Uh, they are on very easy, which means they won't really do much of anything. Occasionally, you'll see probably a couple come to the entrance of my, uh, of my base and get blasted away. They won't really cause much harm. Uh, so right there, I'm building uh, two cybernetic cores, basically, so that way I can get my air offense and defense up. The forge there, I, you need, it's required to even build cannons. But also, I'm going to use that forge to uh, increase my uh, shield defenses as well. So, my probes are collecting minerals at this point and collecting uh, fuel. So that way I can have enough money to build the necessary units that I'm going to build. Basically, at this point, it's just a waiting game. I'm just kind of waiting for my cybernetic cores to be built. And my defenses are supplied. And basically, it's start building my gateways now that one of my cybernetic cores are up I can start shooting out some gateways oh there we go oh he's dead <laughs> that was quick so now I'm gonna build gateways I'm gonna build probably uh, I wanna say about six of them uh, that should be enough for me to pump out a couple of air units get a pretty decent uh, army going that way I can just go around the map and finish everybody off so while these gateways are building uh, I also require more supplies, you know, and every pylon counts as a supply. So as you can see here, and this is a very nasty build. I mean, when I was playing this game back in the day, I was pre I was actually very good. I even used to micromanage with the keyboard very well. But oh, there goes that lag again. Yep. But anyway, I used to micromanage very well with my keyboard, and um, you know, the thing of it is, is that. Uh, it just didn't play in a long time. I hadn't played in a long time, and so right here, I'm just basically doing point and click. I'm not even hardly using my keyboard, basically just to shift and continue to build here like he's doing. And I'm just building a cluster of pylons so I can get enough supplies uh, to build my Air Force. So that's what he's doing. Everybody down here is collecting the fuel or money as I need, and there you can see right up there. Oh, real quick. Right up here, oh, another oh, another visitor. I uh, got a couple of void rays out. So this is basically where I'm going. Just going to pump out void rays until I get enough that I feel comfortable that I can take one trip around the map and basically annihilate everybody. So, and, um... Again, it's it's a, it's a fun game. I, I have a lot... I didn't mention this when I did my uh, gaming video, uh, getting re uh, viewer request... Uh, excuse me, viewer feedback. But I actually, I mentioned that I like RPGs and adventure games, but I also do like strategy games. 
I've been playing StarCraft for a very long time. I'm not as intense into it as I used to be, but it is nonetheless a fun game. I still keep up with it. When the Legacy of the Void comes out, I'm definitely going to pick up that game. So, as you can see here, i got a couple of more Void Rays out. Um, defenses are fine. Right now, right where I'm building there is a Twilight Council. And right here, as you can see, i got more Void Rays out. A couple of more, and I'm going to get going on the... Uh, you know on the attack and everything seems to be working here not a lot of attention I have it on very easy so won't expect a lot of resistance or offense from the opponents so it's just a matter of getting enough uh, void ray up oh, there we go more visitors yep goodbye to them so again I seem to have a pretty good army here <clears throat> and I think they are ready to rock and roll uh, oh, look at that more. So, I mean, at this point, it's pretty much overkill. Uh, <laughs> I think I definitely have more than enough Void Rays to start making an offensive. I've gotten very little, uh, very little resistance and very few enemies attacking because, again, like I said, I have it on very easy. I just want this to be a test run. Uh, oh, more Void Rays. So here we go. This is going to be a bloodbath. So, and, um, <clears throat> so yeah, so strategy game. So, obviously, like StarCraft, <clears throat> and, um, I love XCOM. That's another game I've been playing. And this is the upper left hand portion of the map. And to be quite honest, <laughs> nobody's there. So, I'm just going to take my little group and take them on to the next portion of the map. And I started from the upper left hand corner, and I'm basically going to work my way around, take out whatever, uh, forces I, that I come across. And quite frankly, uh, the chances are slim to none that I would even lose a unit. I mean, look, as you can see here, already attacking, and I mean, they have nothing, you know. And again, uh, very easy. They don't do anything. They just kind of sit there and, you know, play house and play doctor with each other. And so you come knocking at the door and uh, pretty much take them out. And that's it. These guys are pretty much done with. So that's one target down, and basically three more to go so I'm going to just kind of fast forward this to the next uh, there we go look at that oh what are you guys doing look you got one one star port nothing out of there couple of supply depots and sayonara these guys are gone yep yep these guys are gone it's a, of course it's easy for me to talk shit right now because they aren't very easy but um again test run test run I want to see how this comes out so you know and um XCOM and uh, I did play a little bit of Command and Conquer uh, back in the day, but primarily it's always been StarCraft and Warcraft as well. I do love Warcraft a lot. I'm hoping they come out with a Warcraft 3. Uh, so right here I found a couple of more stragglers just kind of along my way to the right hand portion of the map. So I take these guys out and I think at this point I'm pretty much done with two of the computer opponents take out that last pile on there and get rid of, oh look at that little guy yeah you're gone and you're gone too goodbye so oh look at that visitors they're dead so um yeah I um I've always I've always loved Starcraft and I've been playing it since the first one and um it's it's a very very fun game I'm not again I'm not as into it as I used to be I used to be very very good at this game I used to play a lot online against people, and I, I did relatively well. Definitely not like those guys that you see in the tournaments. Um, those guys are elite. Me, I'm definitely not that status. I'm nowhere near that status now. I mean, this is this point and click playing. But when you play against serious competition, you're talking about you have to micromanage your fleet. You know, like <clears throat> right here, I would probably have to press control and one to make this one fleet, and then control and two to make another fleet, and so on. So at this point, I'm pretty, up, pretty much mopping up the map. Uh, there's really, again, no resistance. You know, those little larvae there, they don't do anything except turn into, like, drones or other uh, units. But boy, they're a bitch to kill. You could, I mean, look at that. My whole army's having a hard time killing those little things. It's ridiculous how strong they are. You would think they would make that into a unit, but man, look at that defense. <laughs> That's one little larva, and they're all shooting at him. So at this point, um, again, I'm pretty much heading towards the tail end of this map. Uh, just Again, just wanted this to be a test run to pretty much uh, 
get you guys get your opinions I want to obviously see how it looks on YouTube when I upload it um, cut a couple of lag issues that I didn't actually experience in game but uh, it seems to be at least at the time I'm viewing this it seems to be lagging so taking out a couple of straggles there and at that point I pretty much know that the remaining forces are in the lower left hand corner of the map based on what direction they were going in and this is the final computer player and <laughs> this is this overkill I'm bringing my whole fleet over like I actually need them but this is overkill I mean I've already got a whole second fleet there and they're pretty much taking out the rest of this base we can wind this down and oh there they go there right why not go overkill it never hurts right it never hurts to be extra extra efficient and careful but that's pretty much it guys I hope you like this first video and I'll see you for the next one